Marquez Brownlee interviews unfathomably successful people like Kobe Bryant and Elon Musk and creates massively popular reviews of phones, gadgets, and electric cars. And when you watch his videos, you might notice he frequently wears shirts featuring sports teams most people have never heard of. That's because when he's not shaping opinions on the future of technology, MKBHD moonlights as a professional ultimate frisbee player. Marquez Brownlee is a pioneer on YouTube. The 28-year-old runs a channel he started in 2009 as a 15-year-old high schooler, which now has over 15 million subscribers and billions of views. Monday through Friday, he tests cutting-edge vehicles and explains the latest phenomenon in tech from the future of robots to trends in smartphones. But the weekends? They're reserved for running around as a member of the New York Empire of the American Ultimate Disc League. I went to high school in Maple, New Jersey at Columbia High School. So that's where the sport was invented. It has a pretty rich history there, tradition of having good high school teams. So I think I went to like a summer camp or something right before high school, found it, loved it. I mean, I, I tend to go like full tilt on anything I try. Just being dedicated to a thing at the highest level is the most fun to me. He's not like one of these like super showy or flashy players. He was kind of like the Swiss army knife for his team. He's a lot like uh, Kawhi because he can be a lockdown defender. He can make that defensive play that you need him to make but he can also shoot or drive. When he got to college at Stevens Institute of Technology, Marquez played for multiple Ultimate Frisbee teams while building his YouTube channel from his 12 by 12 bedroom in Hoboken. So when I first started coaching, you know, Marquez is on the team and I literally didn't think he spoke. Like I just didn't think he actually talked at all because he never really, he never really talked to me. I've come to find out he has a YouTube channel and I was like, wait a minute. This kid has a YouTube channel? How is that even possible? He doesn't talk. So we get on watching YouTube and we're like, oh my gosh, not only does he talk, but he's really good at this. The next day at practice, I was like, really? And he just kind of like smiled and laughed. It was so funny, but we really didn't think he spoke. He's one of those people who will be at every game, will be at every practice. He'll, he'll say to me like, yeah, I came straight from the Apple event. After graduation, being a YouTuber became a full-time job. But in Ultimate, Marquez found a community of people who all shared his passion for a sport that doesn't typically make the daily sports center highlights. There's one sense of community that we're like, it's a pretty small sport, but we're all in this together. Like you said, none of us are, almost none of us are playing this full-time professionally as the only thing we do. So they, we have to make time for it because we enjoy it that much. So that that passion is shared, which is awesome. As his channel grew, so did the interest in his Ultimate Frisbee games. And before long, subscribers of his YouTube channel made sure they could watch Marquez play. Playing Phoenix, um, 2017, and he runs into the end zone and scores, and this young kid runs out onto the field and hands Marquez a, a, a pen and a disc, and Marquez puts the disc down, signs the kid's Frisbee, and says, you know, thanks for coming. When we won a championship in 2019, Marquez made this incredible diving layout grab uh, to basically put the game away when we beat Dallas, New York versus Dallas. And it's so iconic, that layout. It's like people are proposing that he become the logo of the league. It's kind of like how Jerry West is the logo of the NBA and Marquez really should be the logo of the AUDL. And as his YouTube star grew, Marquez felt an increased responsibility to share the sport as much as possible with his audience. It's weird to think of myself as an ambassador for the sport because I always think of that as like the elite players, the best of you know, players, the, those with the biggest voices in the sport itself. I'm sort of like, I'm like the top of the funnel, just getting as many people in as possible. And then other ambassadors in the sport itself who have strong opinions and, and strong voices inside of Ultimate, we'll take it from there. All of this attention from the fusion of his two different worlds required an adjustment for Marquez. I see people like as you walk by, they're just like kind of staring at him, right? Like, you know how you want somebody to catch your eye so you can like smile or say something to them? And he just was like, and I asked him about it. I was like, that's real. how do you even do that? And he's like, I had to practice because as soon as I make eye contact with somebody, like I'm engaged in conversation and, you know, I don't necessarily want to do that. But his longstanding connection to Ultimate Frisbee and his teammates reminds him that he was once just a high school kid doing this for fun. No pro league, no production studio no exclusive product access. I think my teammates probably keep me grounded. <laughs> like finding, like again, those conversations about like, you know, oh, I need, I need a new pair of headphones and I only want to spend probably like a hundred bucks on them. I'd be like, dang, I've only reviewed like $350 headphones for the past two years. 
That's a great question. <laughs> I should probably <laughs> focus more on those. The growth of Marquez's YouTube empire shows no signs of slowing down. But that doesn't mean Ultimate won't always be a crucial part of who he is. It's the balance, the instinctual counterpoint to his analytical day job. I keep those those worlds so mentally separate. I feel like I flip a switch when I go from the studio to practice. If you ask me to quit either Ultimate or making videos, I could not pick between the two. I need both. They're, they definitely are the yin and yang. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.